ever since Marlena, AKA Makeup Geek, made her video about her truth about the beauty community, we have had so many beauty gurus coming out and spilling their truth. And a lot of them are also responding to Marlena's video. And this is a perfect example of how she has exposed the beauty community for being extremely, extremely self-centered. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about improving your mental and emotional well-being. So although I may pull from different things going on in the YouTube community or pop culture, the goal of my videos is really to help you out by using these as examples. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so let's get started. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? What is being self-centered? Being self-centered is something that we all struggle with, okay? I have some people who get mad about it when I tell them, I'm like, by nature, humans are selfish and self-centered people. And at the end of this video, I'll give you a prime example about how this is actually affecting your life. But what's interesting to me, and like I'm always analyzing like human nature and seeing things you know, in people that they often don't realize about themselves, and a lot of it came from my own work and my own introspection, and noticing th things about me. And until we notice what's wrong with ourselves, we're never going to be able to solve any problems. We don't understand why we have such big issues with relationships uh, with the people, friends, family, significant others, husbands, wives, kids, whoever it is. But we're seeing a prime example of this in the beauty community. So for those of you who don't know, Marlena Stell made a video about her truth coming out about the beauty community. And in her video, she talked about a couple examples about the beauty community. And she talked about some people charging $60,000, you know, just to mention uh, one of her products. And she mentioned people stepping on each other. And then after that, somebody else came out with a post saying that some people, some beauty influencers, are actually charging a lot of money to do a negative review on somebody else. And oh ho 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 ho, people did not like this. People did not like the fact that beauty influencers are getting paid so much money. They might be getting paid to put out negative reviews, but even still, we saw so many people make these response videos and it's mind blowing. I just had a lot to get off my chest with that. You know, I want people to not look at my channel and wonder, oh, is Tati one of the guys that's like secretly like, on the DL, like telling brands that they better pay her. And like, no, I'm not. Well, I'm just not like that. I mean, there's no point even trying to, you know, defend myself here, because there's nothing to defend. If you watched my um, house tour, you'll see that I rent a house. Everything I own is basically hand-me-down furniture from my grandparents, and the rest is Guns N' Roses memorabilia. Like, one of the one of the hurtful truths, one of the tough love pieces of advice that we have to give each other is like, not everything is about you. Like it blows my mind. Like we've seen like Tati Westbrook come out and uh, Jaclyn Hill, um, Mel Ray, uh, actually just made a video about it too. I'm gonna talk about her video a little bit more in depth in a second. But like, you see all these beauty gurus coming out and they're like, but not me, not me. And it's like, yo, nobody ever said you. You need to calm down. Like, not everything is about you. And so many people are just coming out of the woodwork and saying, I don't get paid that much money. I don't get paid that much money. Don't look at me. I'm not the one getting paid that much money. Like, even Jacqueline Hill talked about how she turns down offers for millions of dollars. And it's like, oh my God. Like, you have to understand. And this is why I preach empathy so much. Like, put yourself in the other person's shoes. When Marlena made that video, she probably had one, one person in mind, just one just one person in mind when she made that video as this example, right? And like, you have dozens of people, dozens of people coming out, if not more. I don't even know all the videos that have come out. So many people coming out and saying, not me, not me. It's like, she was talking about one, like one instance, maybe a few, but like, Calm down, not everything is about you. But we do this as people, as people we do this. So for those of you who don't know the channel, Mel Ray Siegel, she's actually uh, a smaller uh, makeup artist. She has about 50 to 60,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. And she made a video the other day about how Makeup Geek did her dirty. It's a very interesting video if you wanna check it out. And 
she made a follow-up video about why she made that video. And just to touch on it real quick, she said she struggles with OCD as well as a generalized anxiety disorder. And she talked about how she had to make that video or she wouldn't be able to sleep. She's the she's a mother of children. Like she wouldn't be able to be a good mother to them if she didn't get sleep the night before and she had to make that video. And like her situation is a little bit different because she has uh, a direct example about what happened with Makeup Geek. And like, I get that. Like as somebody who struggles with anxiety, myself like there's there's something it's hard to explain there's something where i can't rest right until i get this thing out now should you do it publicly i don't know sometimes for for those of us who have anxiety it's like our moral compass right and our anxiety work together and it's like unless you get this out you're going to continue to have anxiety. Um, for me personally, a lot of that comes through writing and uh, other exercises, but sometimes like I make YouTube videos where I'm very nervous to put them up, but something's pulling at me so hard, I'm like, I need to get this out there. But I'm kind of glad Mel Ray Siegel made that video because like, Nobody is 100% innocent in this thing. Like not everybody, but you know, then we can look at uh, Makeup Geek's self-centeredness. You know, she's thinking about how things affect her her, 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 and her company, and like, what is she really doing for smaller influences? Uh, when I made a video the other day about my black and white thinking, I think about that a lot. I watch so many YouTubers who talk about this stuff, like, we need to help out small people and small YouTubers and small influencers and da, 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 da. And they say it, but they talk about it, but they don't be about it, you know what I mean? So that's really interesting to me. But anyways, back to the whole self-centered conversation. Like I said, my videos are to help you. Like I'm not a drama channel, I'm not here to spill any tea or anything like that. Like my goal is to help you. I want you to start reflecting on your own life and say like, am I always thinking that everything's about me? Like for me, somebody who uh, had a lot of social anxiety and stuff, I, re I remember being in like crowded restaurants and seeing and hearing somebody across the restaurant laughing or giggling, right? And I immediately think it's about me, right? Like not everything is about me and I gotta remember that. That helps calm down my social anxiety. But here's an example of our natural instinct of self-centeredness that so many of us struggle with. Like think about you driving down the road, okay? Maybe on the freeway and there's dozens of cars, if not hundreds of cars, depending on where you live and there's traffic and all that kind of stuff. Just so many cars on the road and you hear a car honk and you get upset. What, what, what are you honking at? Why are you honking at me? I'm driving perfectly fine. Why are you honking at me? Like with that many cars on the road, what are the odds that that person is actually honking at you? Think about that for a second. Our default is to think that things are about us. This is why we need to pause. This is why we need to meditate. This is why we need to declutter our brains and ask ourselves like, Am I acting a little bit silly and irrational right now? Is this really about me? You know what I'm saying? Like the, the innocent have nothing to prove to anybody. That's the thing. Like sometimes I wonder when these people are putting these things out there like, are you really guilty of this and you're trying to do this to clear your own conscience? Like what motivated you to make this video? Why, why do you think it was about you. Like, this is an analogy that might not go over well with some of you, um, but it reminds me of this. Sometimes you see like these uh, posts, right? From like, you know, women and they talk about guys, like, you know, guys are sleaze bags or they're blank boys or, you know, whatever. And then you see guys reply to it and say, not all men, not all guys are like that. Like, that's what I'm seeing in the beauty community right there. They're like, hey, not all of us are like that. It's like, nobody was talking about you. We were talking about these people who did it. But anyways, like, I really want you to just check in with your self-centeredness because I, I promise you, it is hurting your relationships, not only with other people, but also with yourself. So check in with that. Why do you automatically think everything is about you, all right? Let's get a conversation going down below. Do you think that things are about you? Or do you have an example? Like, can you relate to that car analogy I made about honking and you thinking it's immediately about you or somebody laughing at a restaurant and you think it's about you? Leave comments down below. Let's talk about this and support one another, all right? But final announcement. 
I'm gonna be doing a lot, a lot, a lot more on IGTV. So follow me on Instagram. I'm putting it on the screen again, at The Rewired Soul. Follow me over there. Get the IGTV app. I'm going to try to do daily content on there, completely separate from the YouTube channel. It's going to be a bunch of life advice, my own mental health stuff, just, I don't know, just different stuff. But anyways, follow me over on there because, you know, I just got laid off yesterday. I got some time and I'm going to be hustling harder than ever. So please, please, please do me a favor, follow me over on Instagram and don't miss any of the content that I put out, okay? But that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, my channel's all about helping you out. So make sure that you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I still got some rewired soul gear up in the shop. So if you wanna check it out, click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Quit being so self-centered and I'll see you next time.